So today, follow me on this journey as we go and talk about FHA 203H loans and what the purpose of the loans are. We've had a natural disaster, a presidential declared uh, disaster area, and your home is damaged, all of your belongings are damaged. You either had a hurricane or tornado, a severe storm, high water, uh, wind-driven water, tidal waves, tsunami, earthquake, volcano, landslide, mudslide, uh, snowstorm, drought, fire, flood, explosion, whatever it may be, if the president has declared your area as a uh, disaster area, you will be qualified or may be qualified for an FHA 203H loan. So you're a victim of natural disaster and everything's wiped out. Now you're looking for housing and that's why you're watching this video. We're trying to figure out how can you get into housing with low to no money down and that's where the FHA 203H loan comes into play. An overview of the program is, you know, FHA kind of uh, created this program. So if you were affected by the natural disaster, uh, you can get affordable housing. And it's, it's mainly for affordable housing, okay? In this program and this loan, uh, you can go in with no money down, 100% financing, closing cost, prepaid expenses are either paid by yourself as the borrower or pay through premium pricing, so a higher interest rate, so we're giving you a lender credit to cover the cost. The seller can pay up to 6% of seller concessions to cover all of your costs. So your down payment's already covered because we have 100% financing. Now we just have to cover the closing cost um, and the prepaids. And that's where the seller can come in and cover up to 6% of your cost. To qualify, like I said, it has to be severely damaged enough to have a presidential declared disaster. So we've had a lot of fires on the West Coast. We've had a lot of storms hit Louisiana, Florida, up to the Carolinas and in New York in the last couple years. Uh, we've had some tornado damage in the Midwest. Um, and, and a lot of people that were affected by these disasters may not have known that they qualified for a program like this. With this uh, FHA loan, it's it's a standard FHA loan, but there's the 203H option in there. The way that this loan works is there is no down payment. However, there is an upfront mortgage insurance. Upfront mortgage insurance can actually get rolled into the loan. So it's financed into the loan. And with that being said, you know, you have a monthly mortgage insurance premium that is uh, included in your mortgage payment, so it's part of the monthly payment. With that being said, HUD does set the limit on the amount of these FHA 203H loans that can be given out, and there's a limit to the amount that can be insured, okay? Um, with that being said, uh, there are websites, and we'll put that below in the links, um, to kind of like show you what the limits are, what the dollar value of the mortgages are. Um, because it is there to serve the low and moderate income people. Your current FHA limits can be viewed online as well. Um, so you can see what your, your county or your area uh, loan limit is. Or you can feel free to reach out to me and my team and we can certainly look that up for you depending on whether you want to stay in that area or you want to move somewhere else. The figures do vary over time um, by place and it depends on the cost of living and other factors that are kind of set in place by FHA in order to determine that. Eligibility requirements, I would say most lenders are going to go down to a 620 or 640 credit score and that's why it's really important to shop around, find a mortgage broker that can give you all options because options are going to matter, right? You know, not only are the options going to help you with finding maybe something at a lower credit score, maybe, hey, you had this disaster happen and because of that, you were out of work for a while and you may have missed a couple payments on credit cards. So maybe finding a lender that can give you something at a lower credit score. Products are going to matter. You know, um, having um, investors that uh, have better criteria or no overlays uh, for a, a different credit scores, um, it's going to matter. And then finally, it's all about pricing, right? So if you're in the market to shop for a home, um, especially in the last couple of years, you've seen hey, we have not received a lot of closing costs from sellers. And because of that, it's really important to shop around to make sure you get the best deal. And uh, retail versus wholesale, I can talk about it until I'm blue in the face. Uh, however, you are gonna get better value when going with wholesale, which is a mortgage broker, versus going to a retail bank or a lender because you know we're not covering the overhead, we're not covering the commercials, things to kind of get out there. We're not paying for search engine optimization and things like that, and that's, that's big bucks. So to get the same amount of loan or the same type of loan, and I'm not even gonna say the same amount because if you're getting a lower rate or lower cost, 
you would qualify for a little more by going with a wholesale mortgage broker. So always do your shopping. Make sure your lending institution that you're shopping with is FHA approved or have FHA options in order to do this. Other than USDA and VA, thank you for your service if you're VA. Um, there are no other 100% uh, financing options. Eligibility requirements is basically you lived in a home that was destroyed or severely damaged in a presidential disaster area. With the application process, it's, it's quite uh, extensive. You know, uh, when we take an application, we're always looking for your income, your assets, your liabilities. Uh, once we review all that, we actually receive documentation showing what that income assets and liabilities actually is. Uh, we will then go in and, um, you know, find the right program for you and tell you what your interest rates are. Once you get a contract in place, like you put an offer on a home and you win the contract, uh, we then look at the parameters of the contract. And the next step is to go into processing. Uh, once we go into processing, at that point, you know, we can look at it like the legal system, right? You know, the loan officer, we are the lawyer. Um, our processors are the paralegals and then the underwriters are kind of like the judge on the on the loan. So the processor actually gets everything together, uh, make sure that we have covered all of our bases, right? Income, assets, liability. And then we put together a really good package and we state our case to the underwriter. At that point, the underwriter is going to look at it and say, OK, well, we do meet the FHA 203H guidelines or we do not. And we need this type of supporting document in order to get an approval. Once we get all of that, um, an appraisal is ordered, um, you know, with that appraisal, we're getting a case number and, you know, the loan will then go into underwriting and get a final sign off. And then we go to the closing department. So with that being said, you know, FHA 203H loans are a very unique product. Um, and a lot of people don't know about this because if they're not in an area that, you know, has disaster and they've never dealt with the type of loans or they don't have the investors or there may be uh, major investor overlays, then they will not know about these products. So it's really important that you work with a lender that has a lot of product knowledge, um, not only product knowledge of the conforming loans, but of the non-conforming loans, and maybe even little niche products like this. If you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to reach out to my team uh, or myself. We can be reached at 757-478-8493. Please be sure to like, our video, subscribe, and ask questions below because I love the questions that you guys ask. And give me some video topics, things that you want to hear about. And I will talk to you guys later.